So the iPhone 16 is just around the corner, and in this episode, I want to talk to you about some iPhones that I think you should definitely wait to upgrade. We're almost there. Just hold out a little bit. These are the phones that I think definitely are in need of some upgrades. So what is up, guys? Nick here, helping you to master your technology, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to talk about some of the phones, iPhones specifically, that would probably be a good idea to upgrade, and I'll tell you the reasons why, in particular, models that you might consider upgrading from. We'll start with the iPhone 12. The iPhone 12 is one of the first models, and one of the main reasons for this upgrade recommendation to go to the 16 is if you liked the vertical camera, they're likely going back to this vertical camera. So you might like that uh, modern iPhone with a vertical setup if you didn't like the diagonal. That's just a something little. Um, but the battery life. The iPhone 12 was one of the worst battery life phones of these more flat edges phones to me that I've tried in the many years. I can never make this my mean because this phone just did not have long enough battery life. It was one of those I had to charge at like six, seven o'clock at night. Not a major fan. The iPhone 12 also um, has a pretty nice display, but the OLED has gotten better, brighter, more accurate, and overall, it's just going to be an all-around nice upgrade from the iPhone 12. The next one is the 12 Pro Max, and specifically, I'm talking about going to a 16 Pro Max. If you've been holding out this long, one of your biggest areas of upgrade is going to be the cameras. Not only have they improved the zoom, but the actual quality of the cameras will be a massive step up from you for you if you come from the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Not to say that the 12 Pro Max doesn't have good cameras, it sure does, 2.5X, 12 times zoom, 4K60, which is still available on the latest, it's still a really good camera, but it's starting to just get a little bit old here with the iPhone 12 Pro Max, and this one also is not the greatest on battery, the 13 Pro Max really crushed this one, and I expect us to see uh, better efficiency, better battery life on the 16 Pro Max, along with the fact that if you have a 12 Pro Max, you're going to be going to a larger screen for the first time since the introduction of the 12 Pro Max, which was the first time the iPhone got bigger since the iPhone 11 Pro Max and the iPhone XS Max. So if you have 12 Pro Max, this was a good 5G phone, beautiful device, still very gorgeous looking overall, but it's going to get uh, pretty much a lot better in pretty much every area, including battery life. Improved zoom, of course, you will get if you go to the 16 Pro Max, and better processing with the pictures, better low light performance by far, and much faster performance along with Apple intelligence. So this one right here, the 12 series in general, would be a good area, I would say, of an upgrade. If you have a 12, 12 Pro or Pro Max, this is a good want to consider upgrading. I think I'm going to get a little heat for this one because I've praised this phone and this is basically everyone's favorite standard iPhone, the iPhone 13. Like everyone has this phone. It's definitely still one of the better iPhones ever made in the iPhone 13. Just did everything good. Good cameras, good battery life, solid build. Um, It was just a solid all around iPhone. Not that it's super exciting, but it was a very, very good iPhone and one that many felt they never had to upgrade. But why I would consider upgrading this is because you don't have Dynamic Island here. You'll be, be getting an upgrade there. I think you're going to get much better zoom on the next 16 than this phone. Of course, we already went to 2x and 10 times digital for the 15. So that's a big jump from the 13. But no Apple intelligence on the base model 15, which is kind of annoying. So if you skip that, you made the right decision on the 13. And now you'll get the Apple intelligence for the iPhone 16. So This is going to be a better upgrade from the 13 this year than it was last year. They first fixed the body. Now they're going to go vertical cameras. They're going to give you a slightly larger screen as well, potentially, if you go to the 16 Pro. So if you want a bigger screen, you can go there as well. But if you just go straight to the 16, this is going to be improved in pretty much every area. And this might be the year of the iPhone where you have kind of a 13-like model. Great battery life. Um, Just really good features all around and just generally going to please the average consumer. That's what I feel like we're going to. I feel like the 16 is another 13 type model where it's just going to be really good and people are going to just really jump on board with it. So for me, if I had the 13, I'd be looking to, you know, offload this phone, maybe get a good resale value, 400 bucks or so, apply it to my next purchase and, and cop the iPhone 16 for a couple hundred or a few hundred bucks. Uh, that would probably be my strategy 
going into this one. Um, the reason I would want to upgrade this is because the bezels are going to get thinner. Dynamic Island's not on board. I don't like that this only goes five times zoom, and I want uh, Apple Intelligence on my next iPhone. So that's why I would consider upgrading this one. This one is also a one I think would be a acceptable time to upgrade. You don't have to can do it with the iPhone 13 Pro Max, but if you love your 13 Pro Max, but you want the latest features, you're not getting Apple Intelligence on board. So 13 Pro Max, while great, now has going to feel a little bit behind without the Apple Intelligence. One thing I love about the iPhone 13 Pro Max and why it might be a decent year to upgrade is this phone had the solid large screen with the very, very good cameras and very good battery life. And I feel like that's the kind of model we're going to get here with the 16 Pro Max. Apple heard her complaints with the thermal design last year with the battery life not being as good as before on the 14 Pro Max. They kind of fixed that with the 15 Pro Max, but I think they're going to take it to the next level here as we do have a larger display. It will require a little bit of a larger battery likely, but sometimes they go with a smaller battery. But I do feel like we're going to see that battery jump this year. Also, the iPhone 13 Pro Max, not the longest zoom that was improved with the 15 Pro Max, but if you held out, it's okay because now you're going to get a bigger screen, probably better battery life, better thermal design, great performance like the 13 Pro Max. It's an exciting time, I would say, to jump from the 13 Pro Max. It's a three-year upgrade, so um, I think it's going to be a pretty sizable update for you as well. However, this is one of those phones in my recommendations list here that if you want to hold out to the 17, you're going to be just fine. As is, you'll be fine on the iPhone 13 as well. And um, these, these will also get iOS 18. You'll be okay as well. It's not like you have to do any of these upgrades. But the, the iPhone 13 Pro Max is one of the few that would probably be better to hold on to out of these that I mentioned so far. All right. So the phone that introduced Dynamic Island, the iPhone 14 Pro. Now, I would, I would get rid of this phone, and I'm going to tell you why. It's not because this phone is old by no means. It's because I never really loved this phone like I love the 13 Pro models. Uh, reason why is because it just seemed kind of like a lazy upgrade that also gave some issues. The brightness on this phone would actually not stay bright all the time. It would dim automatically a lot. That super annoyed me. Also, this phone was kind of chunky, a little bit heavy for its size. Uh, it even felt a little heavier than some of the previous Pros. So didn't really love that. Very fast CPU, don't get me wrong, and it's still an iPhone, so everything is going to be polished and works well. However, the 14 Pro didn't have great battery life, had this dimming problem. In addition to that, some people complained that the battery capacity was draining quicker than usual. Their maximum capacity was going down faster than ever. So for me, the 14 Pro was just not one of the best ones made. It was good, but not one of the best. And I feel like going to a 6.3-inch 16 Pro this year with better battery life, better camera, better thermals, lighter design, it's going to be a solid update from the 14 Pro. Another reason I would consider offloading the 14 Pro is mostly because you can sell the 14 Pro for a sizable amount of cash, especially if you sell it by yourself. You can get seven, 800 bucks for some of these 14 Pros, and that, that means that you can get a 16 Pro for like $300 if you uh, just pay the difference. So you can definitely get a lot of money for this one right here. So that's why I would get rid of this one because you can get a lot for it. If you keep it, it's going to keep dropping in value. And um, this is going to be a little bit dated here, but 14 Pro does not even get Apple Intelligence either. It's insane. This phone is not even that old and it does not get Apple Intelligence. So that one I would consider. Now, the 14 Pro Max kind of falls in line to me with the iPhone 13 Pro Max. I actually really like the 14 Pro Max mostly because the dynamic island was a cool feature to mess around with when it first came out. And man, is that wallpaper dark. Let me go ahead and turn that off here. So go to customize for iOS 18 and we'll go like so. And let's turn those icons to light mode here. Let's go here. We'll go light mode. The 14 Pro Max never really bothered me too much because it was much better battery life than the iPhone 14 Pro. It was a pretty premium like the 13 Pro Max, but just a little bit better. Um, but Again, the main thing I would consider with the upgrade here is that I can get a lot of money for this phone. This phone, I can get like 800, 900 bucks, depending on the storage capacity uh, for a 14 Pro Max. And that's going to basically pay for the majority of a 16 Pro Max, which will have Apple Intelligence, have a larger screen, better zoom, much lighter build. 
than this phone right here. And also, is this going to be a much more efficient processor with better thermal design once again? Although this one didn't have really bad issues with heat, uh, mostly because of the stainless steel structure in here, it was very good. Uh, but now, nowadays, this phone definitely feels kind of like a 13 Pro Max just with a dynamic island. At the end of the day, this is another one of those in my list here that I would say you don't have to do the upgrade. Uh, you could definitely hold on to this a while. But um, just for the value what you could sell this for, it's not going to be a bad idea either to offload this one before the values drop more. And then you can't get as much for the resale value on this and one. The final series I want to talk about is the iPhone 11 series. If you guys held on to these phones this long... Good for you. You are a warrior because these are some of the best iPhones in the past you know, decade, the iPhone 11s. These things right here have been great. The 11 Pro Max, smooth edges, premium. And I think ever since these, it's only been polish and iterations, a slight different change in the flat edges. Um, overall, these were the ones that really, I think, pushed you know Apple into the territory of like premium, especially with the green 11 pro max the 10s max was nice but this man this thing was beautiful the midnight green 11 pro max and if you held on this long again good for you man you did it you held on very long but it's time i think for an upgrade from the 11 series while these will be getting ios 18 um, these phones also don't have apple intelligence and they have some of the oldest cameras right now in the iphone bunch they still have 4k 60 they still have ultra wides and they still have pretty good results for everyday usage. But at the same time, if you're looking for the next leap in camera technology, the next leap in intelligence and then making your phone feel like an actual smartphone with the Apple intelligence, it's time for an upgrade from these. Now, these won't get you a lot of money back right now just because of their age. So unfortunately, you're going to have to pay a top dollar for this one. So you really got to think about if that's in your budget. But um, if you're looking, if it is in your budget and you've already been planning for it, I think it's time um, to offload these products as well. And anything before this, I'm not really going to include in this video. You probably know what I feel about those. Those would definitely need an upgrade. And if you notice one thing about this video that was kind of a common theme, um, I didn't really talk about the 15 models because the 15 models are basically the only ones that I don't feel are worthy of upgrades, especially because they just came out last year. Um, and I'm, I was still on the fence about putting the 14 Pro Max and the 13 Pro Max. So these are still wild cards. I wouldn't be mad if I kept these a little bit longer either. These two right here are still wild cards, but the rest of them in this video, including some I didn't show like the 12 Pro and the 13 Pro and the 11 Pro are all ones I would recommend of an upgrade if you want to be in the latest tech spec. And keep in mind too, that all these iPhones right here all are still going to run just fine. They're still going to work. They're like premium. Think of them like premium old vehicles. Like those are still going to run. No problem. But if you want the latest features, these are the ones I would recommend to upgrade from. Let me know if you agree or disagree down below and what phone iPhone you are actually going to be upgrading from when you go to the 16 here in September. And which 16 model? Are you going with 16, 16 Plus, 16 Pro, 16 Pro Max? I'd love to know which one is on your radar and give me some ideas of what you want to see going forward. When I get those in studio, we will consider doing some of those comparisons. Thank you very much for watching. Nick here. Be sure to be well and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace. <music>